Hey. Oh my gosh, yeah. I know, it's me. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh man. How, how have you been? That's expected, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, isn't this crazy? It's been so long since you've seen me. Weird. Isn't continuity funny? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know it's been so long since I've seen you or you've seen me. Yeah. You've probably seen me on Instagram. I've been in there a lot. Yeah. A lot of, inter you know, so sometimes I think about all the things that I'm missing, you know, like there's so much in my life that I'm missing and I, you know, I wish um, people knew about and, and people probably wish they knew about, you know, but I don't like to brag and be, you know, super overbearing with, with what's, you know, new about me and stuff. Yeah. You know, except like all the time, but, uh, yeah. So I've actually been here and you've been, you've been going through a bit lately. You've, uh, you've been kind of going through it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What's been, is everything okay? Like. I've just been hearing that you've been having a rough time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, actually, can I talk about my problems first? Um, it was crazy. It was, this is crazy. It's going to blow your mind. So, basically, um, basically, uh, Kathy came up to me the other day, and she was upset with me, and I was like, why are you upset with me? Like, you seem like you're upset with me. And she's like, well, yeah, like, why didn't you eat the ham with me earlier? I was like, why didn't you eat the ham with you earlier? And she's like, yeah, why didn't you eat the ham with me earlier? And I was like, why? well, what do you mean I didn't eat the ham with you earlier? And she's like, I had ham earlier, and I expected you to eat it with me, but you didn't eat the ham with me earlier. And I was like, wait, so you're mad at me because I didn't eat the ham with you earlier? And she's like, yeah, I'm mad at you because you didn't eat the ham with me earlier. And I was like, well, well, what are you talking about? Like, I don't like ham. And she's like, well, I thought you liked ham. And I said, who told you that? Because I don't like ham. I'm kind of a turkey guy, but never a ham guy. Ham is not what I like. I'm not a ham guy. So I wouldn't eat the ham with you earlier because I'm not a ham guy. I'm a turkey guy, not a ham guy. And she's like, well, I totally thought you were a ham guy. And I was like, no, I'm not a ham guy. I'm a turkey guy. Who said, that, why, why did you think I was a ham guy? And she's like, well, because Jesse told me that you're a ham guy. And I was like, well, Jesse doesn't know that I'm not a ham guy. You know, he's kind of an idiot. He thinks I'm a ham guy. But if you know me, that I'm a turkey guy, you know that I'm a turkey guy and not a ham guy. And therefore, I wouldn't eat ham with you earlier. And I would eat turkey with you earlier if turkey was an option. But it wasn't. It was ham. So I won't eat ham with you earlier. And she's like, well, I thought you'd eat ham with me earlier. And because Jesse told me that you were a ham guy and not a turkey guy, if I knew you were a turkey guy, I would have made, I would have had turkey and then we would have been able to eat turkey together earlier. But instead, we didn't eat ham together earlier. And I was like, well, yeah, we didn't eat ham together earlier because I'm not a ham guy, I'm a turkey guy. Bologna sometimes is in the mix. I'm, it's kind of, you know, whether it's a, a good day or not, I'll maybe eat bologna. Um, but bologna is kind of a toss up. I'm way more of a turkey guy. Definitely not a ham guy. So I wouldn't eat ham with you earlier. If it was turkey, I probably would eat. I would eat turkey with you earlier. If it was bologna, I maybe would eat it with you earlier. But not ham. So I don't know who. I don't know why. Jesse told you that I'm a ham guy because I'm not a ham guy. I'm a turkey guy and maybe a bologna guy. And, and you know, Kathy said that. Well, yeah. I wish that he told me that you are not a ham guy and that you're a turkey guy. And sometimes a bologna guy, because I, I like bologna sometimes too. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of a toss up whether I like bologna. And I said, yeah, that's what I was saying. I, I, it's kind of the same thing, but I'm definitely not a ham guy. And she's like, well, I'm, now I know I'm glad. And she was like, do you want to go eat bologna? And I was like, yeah, that kinda, it kind of feels right about now. And so we, we ate bologna. It was crazy. You, you should have been there. It was seriously insane. Whew. So yeah, uh, what was, what was your issue? Your parents got divorced. I'm so sorry. How did that, did that come out of the blue? Like, how did that, how did that happen? Really? They went to a salon? Oh my gosh, your dad went to a salon and then the salon guy convinced him to get a divorce? Wow. Well, I assume your dad must have won the case then, yeah? He didn't. Oh, so that, that salon guy trying to give him legal advice. <laughs> Does he think he's a lawyer? He does think he's a lawyer. Really? Oh my gosh. 
gosh, this totally beats my ham, turkey, and bologna story. Yeah, I'm going to tell so many people about this. Well, yeah, I know you don't want me to tell them, but once you see their reaction to it and how much they eat it up, you, you will love it. They're going to eat it up like I eat ham. Oh my gosh, that's why Jesse thinks I'm a ham guy. Because of a Freudian slip. Oh my gosh, I need to tell Kathy because this is... Oh, this is too much to take. I probably told Jesse that I accidentally like ham because I was thinking about how much I didn't like ham and I was thinking about how much I like turkey. But because I was thinking about ham when I said that I like turkey, I actually said that I like ham. Oh my gosh. Wow, that kind of came full circle. Oh, I'm kind of glad we fixed my thing. No, oh, wow. What were you talking? Oh, you're divorced. Yeah, that's a big, that's a biggie. Wow, that's, yeah. Do you feel like I should leave it be or should I tell Kathy that I probably miscommunicated with Jesse? Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of a big deal. I wonder if Kathy's been thinking about that all day. I would hate for her to be mad at Jesse if it's my fault. But what am I saying? When has ever something, any issue been my fault? Uh, yeah. Dang. Yeah. Does you, your dad like ham or is he a turkey guy? That's not why they get divorced. Do you? Does your mom like turkey and your dad likes ham? Oh, that's not why they got divorced? Okay. I was like, about to say, because that's, that's the reason to get divorced. Honestly. People act like those two are synonymous, but they're not. Like, they're very different in taste, you know? It's kind of like if you're a mayonnaise or a Miracle Whip person, you know? Like, that's a big deal. Like, I've been thinking about breaking up with my girlfriend because she's a, a mayonnaise person and I'm a Miracle Whip person. You know, it's just very different on a sandwich, so... Yeah. But that's, that's a bad day. I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. That's really hard. That's almost as rough as visiting your girlfriend and then uh you know when you leave you accidentally leave your razor there as well and so hair is just protruding out of your face for a couple of weeks until you can go back and get the razor back oh man what idiot would do that <sighs> yeah yeah <sighs> man oh, wow is there anything i can do to like to help you out, you know, in this time of stress. I'm really good at helping people out. Yeah. I make really good uh, uh, turkey sandwiches if you want one. They're to die for, seriously. Are you a Miracle Whip or a mayonnaise kind of person? <laughs> That's important. So, just think on that, think about your answer, and then maybe I'll make you one of my famous turkey sandwiches. Oh, yeah. That's really hard. I, I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, you know, if there's anything I can do, um, what was the, what was the salon that your dad went to? Oh, on the same place of my couch salon and divorce lawyers. I actually know that place. I walk by that place every day on my way to work. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize that it was so literal. That's crazy, yeah. Wow. Dang, imagine being on the same couch every day for your job. That'd be crazy. Wow. But uh, um, that that is seriously crazy. I've thought about going in there, and now it kind of seems like a hoot, you know, not to turn your trauma into something to laugh about, but it's kind of funny if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, you know, move to... <laughs> But dang, that's really hard. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Is there any way that I can uh, just hop out, you know? If, if there's anything I can do, you just let me know. Seriously, I love helping people out and telling others that I helped you out. Seriously, that's one of my favorite things. Like, getting that recognition is so helpful for me. Um, but that's the best thing about it is, like, it's a win-win. You know, you actually get help, and then I feel great about myself, and then other people, you know, think that I'm a good person yeah yeah like if my girlfriend if she got cancer and had to lose all of her hair I would shave my head so that 
it made me look like a really good boyfriend. Like I used to talk to see commercials about it and I was like, that guy, oh man, that guy's a good boyfriend. Yeah. And then it's also nice because it it spreads awareness for what's the what's the um what's that procedure called? Um Clementines or or, or Cleopatra or hmm. Whatever it is, yeah, whatever, it, you know what I mean. It really spreads awareness for that, and that that needs to, that's really something that we need to spread awareness for because many people cannot think of the name, and that is the problem because you can't even search it up now, you know, that, that is the issue with everything. Um, man, um, yeah, well, oh, oh, don't cry. Hey, hey, hey. I know that you're going through a really hard time right now, but I'm only thinking about myself, so please just, it's okay, it's okay, hey, 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 I'm just, let me wipe those tears away, you know, you're crying a lot, and, oh man, if you wore makeup, it would it'd be ruining it, yeah, oh, I'm so sorry for your face, yeah, oh man, well, uh, that's really hard. Is, is everything else been okay? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's that's rough. Dang. Well, uh, do you at least own a Wii? Because honestly, if you're in a time of need, a Wii will make you feel better. Wii bowling? Oh my gosh, bowl all your problems away. Unless you're bad at Wii bowling, then it's just another problem. We bowling got me through so much, so many of the hard times. Yeah, it got me through like my bad grades in high school. Yeah, it it was a, such a big help. It also got it also got me my bad grades in high school. I could I could not stop playing it. Um, but then once I got my grades and I felt terrible, uh, they just you know I went back to it. You know, um, I don't know if that means anything, but yeah, I just honestly like. That's what I would suggest in this hard time. Um, and then just don't think about how both of your parents aren't going to be playing with it. You you know, just pick one, whoever you think is better, um, or at least more fun to play with, because they also they also could be worse, and they're more fun to play with because then you win, you know? That's honestly, that's how you win at stuff. You know that, right? Like, you just got to make friends with people who are worse at it, and then just beat them, and it really makes you feel really good. And then when someone um, then excels at something that you've been better at them for so long and they're starting to maybe be as good as you, you can take pride in it knowing that because of you, they're getting better. And so you can just take all the credit and then tell everyone that. It's 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 seriously so much fun. These are life hacks that you really um, you really need to you know, start thinking about because that is how you're going to get ahead, you know? How are you going to make it through through college or through a, a, a nine to five job if you don't you know use you know manipulation and your pride and your ego you know to your advantage am i right yeah yeah this maybe it's getting a little too real i'm gonna dial it back a little bit i dial it back just a little bit um but uh yeah yeah no worries um oh your hair is a little let me try to fix your hair a little bit you know we we want to make something good happen with this, with your life right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, aren't you happy that I was here to fix it? Let me. You know, I don't really know if I like the middle part. To be honest, I preferred your hair in the game store role play, but um, you know, I don't know. It kind of works. The middle part. You know, I guess we'll see. Just let it grow out and see where it kind of falls. And then if you don't like it in a couple of months, you can just cut it all off. That's what a lot of celebrities do. And honestly, that's that's the number one person um, and people that I pay attention to because I think that that you know you can get so many life lessons from them. You know, speaking of manipulation, ego, and wee bowling, celebrities they got a lot of good things to say. Yeah. Honestly, you could just wear a hat for a long time until um, until you feel like it will look good. 
that might work out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, yeah, it's really difficult. I get it. Yeah. That's why I always just take a shower before I know I'm going to see someone. Um, cause you know, people always look really hot when they come out of the shower. Something about the wet hair and it's just like, oh yeah, you know, it really makes you, you stand out. Like, you know, in movies, you know, I feel like always the sexy shot is like a guy walking out of like showers or like out of like something that makes him like kind of sweaty and like the wet hair and you know, you know, the t-shirt off with the nice color on abs. Which, you know, it's all fake. You can just do it yourself. Trust me. <laughs> That's what I do. And no one has said anything about them yet. So that must mean they're working. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, just start taking showers before you know you're going to see anyone. Like, if you're going on a date, just take a shower before. And then uh, just make sure the date doesn't last too long so that your hair isn't dry by the end of it. Or if it is, just, like plan to go to like a pool party or something so you can get your hair wet again because I really think being having wet hair is really what makes people attractive I'm, I'm like 99.10 percent sure <laughs> yeah but uh, I don't know it's kind of difficult I mean that honestly should be the number one thing with your problems right now is like how do I make myself look better than I already do you know that's like, that honestly is the hardest thing in my life right now. <laughs> it's so hard to just try to keep be keep looking better. But um, obviously you need to start trying that, you know. Yeah, I get, it goes without saying, but usually things that go without saying need to be said most, you know. I saw that on like a whiteboard. It was a really good quote at like a coffee shop. It just, it really struck me, you know, right in my, my soul and my heart. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man, like, you obviously are going through a lot, and I would love to help you, but I'm just kind of dealing with a lot of my own stuff, turkey sandwiches, or, or wee bowling, yeah, I don't know, or you could just be, you know, a really, you could take it out by being in a really annoying person that doesn't know how to open the elevator door quietly, and just every like seven seconds it just keeps happening yeah something like that could work but honestly i'm so happy you got to see me like this because things have been going so great for me and hopefully that will cheer you up a little bit you know knowing that someone else's life is going well um you know that that should really put some of your issues to rest because you know it can't be this that bad for all of us you know it might be looking up for you and you know, that looking up just might be that you get to see me today, you know, so, you know, really, you gotta be optimistic, you know, that's the thing is, is all this stuff is easy, it's just people don't know how to be optimistic, yeah, but, yeah, so, just, uh, you know, feel free to call me, um, anytime that I'm with friends, and if you're crying, or, you know, something's going wrong, feel free to call me at any time that I'm with people, so I can help you through that, um, yeah, no, seriously, I, I, I don't mind, it's totally fine, I get it, I really get it, um, so, yeah, just, uh, stay safe, and, and be cool, yeah, you know, <laughs> hats off to you, <laughs> yeah, you didn't think I was gonna mention them, but I did, yeah, just part of my new, uh, innovation, you know, I'm, I'm an interior designer, and, uh, this is, uh, this is a new design called and it's dramatic because it, it sounds like silence but it, when you read it it's just a bunch of dots yeah it's really cool it's it's this new thing um, this new trend of, of of you need to be audibly taking people um, you know just catching them off guard and, and they're like wow to your product um, and I feel like silence does that the best so yeah look us up it's just dot org um so you make sure you get the dot org in there because people usually put 
and then just org. You know, they get confused. You know, people are stupid. <laughs> we all know this. Um, but yeah, so just make sure it's dot org. Um, and then we're also about to get a dot gov as well. So, um, you know, just uh, let me know uh, if you check it out. If you do, feel free to call me anytime when I'm with people and, and just to let me know that you saw it. And that it's like the coolest website you've ever seen. Once again, it's .org or .gov. Either one works right now. So, uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, again, stay safe. I hope that you're doing well. Actually, you're not doing well. That's the, that's what we were talking about, is that how well you're not doing and how I'm doing really well, but you're not doing really well at all. So, so sorry about that. Um, you're like ham and I'm like turkey. <laughs> Um, and your parents are like baloney because they're like, oh, maybe I want you today. Maybe I don't want you today. You know, oh man, it all connects. Wow. I'm, oh, I'm so artistically in tune. I can just turn my world into some sort of art and I'm just, my words are just beautiful. So yeah. Um, but that's all I have time for today. So I hope that you have a good one and it was so great to, uh, to have this. Um, I will maybe catch you later, or if you call me when I'm with people. I'm with people, like, every night, so you can just call me every night, and if I answer, I'm with people, so, yeah, no worries, uh, just have a good one, and, um, I hope to, to see you, uh, on our website, and, you know, just less sad, so. Yeah. I'm gonna slowly walk away for drama.